Hey guys, Circa from JK Hub here. I just wanted to give a quick video about um, the Amazon games versions of uh, Jedi Outcast and Academy. <laughs> Apparently they released the games without multiplayer. Um, the executables just aren't there. And uh, Jedi Outcast doesn't even launch. So I'm just gonna give you a quick um, instruction video on how to get those games working. So if you claimed those games for free as part of Prime Day and you were looking forward to playing them, but you can't, uh, hopefully this will be helpful to you. So you'll see that when you launch the game, you click play and it just doesn't open. It just, it tries to open and then it crashes. So we're gonna try to install uh, two different things. One is going to be um, replacing the single player um, that uh, it actually does have and then we'll also get a multiplayer client called JK2MV multi version. Um, so it'll let you play multiplayer if that's what you want to do because the game just didn't ship with multiplayer apparently. So first thing that we need for these new clients is this visual C++ um, redistributable um, and the link is in the description you're gonna want to um, install the x86 or 32-bit version so um, go ahead and download that install it and then go into local disk and uh, then the Amazon games directory um, so your C drive then Amazon games and then Star Wars Jedi Knight 2 folder um, and then just leave that open and open up your other downloads folder so you have them both open at the same time kind of like what I have right here and then just uh, either click and drag all of the files or you can do control A and then you just drag them over and if it asks you to replace a file, go ahead and replace it. And then what I did is um, I went to, I right clicked and I went to send to desktop to create a shortcut. So that will just make it easier to find for you later when you want to play it. And I renamed it to Jedi Outcast single player. So you can just find it a little bit easier um, and double click it and it should launch and you should be able to go into the game. And then the little command that I put in there was uh, R underscore mode uh, negative one. And that just gives you more options for resolutions for your screen. I have it in windowed mode because OBS doesn't like me recording in full screen. But um, if you wanted it full screen, you could also do R underscore mode negative two. And that will give you your native resolution of your monitor, which is a pretty nice feature. Um, so that's single player. So now we're going to do um, JK2MV for multiplayer. It's in the description and the process is the exact same. So you're going to want to open that um, zip file. But in this case, it does have something that you put in the base folder. So go ahead and copy the other files, leave the base folder alone. Um, and then after they copy over, go ahead and open that base folder, get those two pk3 files and um, just move them over to the base folder it's just safer this way you could probably just move the base folder over and then tell it to merge but um, I've seen people try to do that and then it just deletes everything else that was in the base folder and that's where all the assets are are so all the important documents and files for the game uh, so you don't want to lose those uh, that's really all Amazon gave you in the first place, so you don't want to lose them. So yeah, after that's installed, you can um, make another shortcut for it and do the same thing, rename it, and uh, try to launch it. Um, if that little thing comes up where it says Windows protected your PC, uh, you can just run it anyway. These are trusted sources. Um, if it comes up with the firewall alert, um, and you can't seem to click it. Um, that's what happened to me here. Um, I kept trying to click and it kept trying to capture my mouse. Um, just do uh, the Alt tab or Windows key tab to minimize the game. And then that should let you go back and uh, use your mouse to click that checkbox. So make sure you click that checkbox next to private networks, just so your firewall doesn't block the ability to uh, play on servers um, and click allow access. 
and then you should be able to just click back into the game and it should launch and you should be able to see servers there so that was jedi outcast um and that's the one that didn't work it didn't have multiplayer so if you had issues with um jedi academy that that single player does work um it's basically the same process um just different apps there's going to be a different one for multiplayer um but we are going to use openjk for single player um so those links are going to be in the description um, download OpenJK for Jedi Academy and then Eternal JK for Jedi Academy multiplayer. So you want to go through the same process, just go to the Jedi Knight Jedi Academy folder um, in the Amazon Games Library folder instead of the Jedi Outcast one. Um, and then you just open your zip files and drag them into the, the same folder and um, replace things that you need to they both use the same dependencies so you if you have the same prompt um, with eternal jk after you do open jk you can just skip or replace i, I think they use the same um, i've never had issues doing either one so the rest of the process should be the same as long as they launch you should be good to go so thanks for watching guys if you have any questions um feel free to leave comments below or what would be better is if you uh, went and joined us on jkhub.org, uh, made an account and then posted your question there in the support forum, which will be linked below. You could also join the Jedi Knight community discord. Um, that's also a really good resource. Um, there's always people there um, willing to help and uh, work through any problems that you're having with the game. Or if you just want to hang out and talk about the game. Um, so yeah, I will see you next time.